take office in 1978, is, is there one thing that sticks out in your mind as maybe a problem that you had to face that was different than maybe any of your predecessors? Yeah, something I'm that sorry. I faced, and I was real pleased when I, when I was campaigning for my, my mayor's job. Trash was everywhere in the city. Uh, the city had 125,000, I think, set aside in a sanitation budget, and they did the best they could with it. But they couldn't pick up garbage and trash. They pick up the garbage and they leave the trash. And I decided to advertise for a garbage company to pick it up in three or four weeks and it was clean. And we had ditches on each side of the two lanes on Robert Road you could bury a car in. Sure. We yeah. widened them and we put a bike pass on one side and, yeah. and walked sidewalks on the other. Are you excited? Oh, sure. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Uh, uh, a bit afraid. Of, I mean, all of those things. If, if, I don't think you'd be uh, sane if you weren't. Of course not. Uh, you know, you, you say you've been afraid. I was terrified. <laughs> I had to, uh, F. M. Pierce was a nice guy uh -huh. running against me and Bob Lawrence, and I got 76%. And that's, that sounds good, but it's scary because uh -huh. they expect you to do something terrific. Right. I'm terrified. I really was. If each of you had a word of advice for uh, for, for the mayor elect, what would, what would well, you say? No, I, I would, I, Ben Morris mentioned it earlier, I wouldn't tell him a whole lot of anything. I think he's uh, got a good background, he's got, knows what he's doing, and he's going to do a fine job. Uh, it's going to be a tough job, and it's going to be every day tough, and he's going to hang in there. I bet you meant that. I would tell him two things. Be true to yourself, and have some fun with it. What would you say, Matt? What, what would you offer to Surround Mayor yourself Lake. with people smaller than you are. Yeah. Okay. Don't micromanage. Mayor Drennan, what would be your words of advice for fair mayor elect? Very simple. I have to make decisions every day. Make decisions that affect the masses. Yep. Uh, no matter what decision you make, <laughs> you're not going to make everybody happy. That's right. Okay. This auditorium, when we put the design out, Oh. <laughs> I could have been trampled to death, yeah. and no one would have cared, okay, except, and, and it was, like you said, some small groups that said, oh, this is horrible, you know. What do you, when, when you leave office here in a couple of days, what do you think is going to be your lasting footprint? Is there one thing that people look back and say, that's, we can thank Mayor Drennan for that? I have no idea what they're going to think, Andy. <laughs> I'll tell, I'll tell what, you what, what they're going to think, What's in, that, in, in my mind. It's the hundred million dollars worth of construction projects, Katrina money, yeah. that came in after the fact, after everybody else had pretty much shut down. He restored all the infrastructure on the south side of town. Yeah. This this administration that's true. and this council. Yeah. It, that is what know, it's gonna be. And that's There's what no that's what the legacy's gonna be. The former mayor is always interested in seeing that his city is doing well. Whoever the incumbent mayor is and willing to help, you know. Uh, it's certainly been true for me, and I suspect it's true for at least four. Uh, and as for the new one, I, I got to tell you, you printed me one. I thank God Almighty you won that race. I do. There you go. It's a nice endorsement. Yes, it is.